Hello, everybody. This is Buckeye Kitty, known as Cat. She's camping out here by me with her son, Chunky. And she has a channel, Buckeye Kitty, on YouTube. Please check her out. Anyhow, she's my camera woman today. Hello, everybody. So this is my final tour of my box bed. So I'm going to show you from start to finish. finish. This is the, my control chargers, people. I had them for a long time. Down here, I do have a carbon monoxide detector. And I also have a fuse box. Okay, I have a 1500 watt power inverter by Ariac. I put it in this magnetic screen. I stapled it. Anyhow, so I stapled this screen so I would have a bug screen for the door. Cool, because by stapling it, it doesn't come loose. It closes automatically, very easily, in and out all the time. So these are the banners that Honey and Me, Sue, made me. Up here I have the drone that Nomadic Hippie thought I needed. I'm scared to death because every time I used it, I killed it. I uh, crashed it. And it's a pretty clever way. She's got it bungee yeah. up there. It's out of the way. So this way, it's stable when you travel. It's not going to move around, bang into things. So I did put this wonderful cabinet in here. It has a lot of storage. I, I have really big windows in this truck, but it, they do need to be replaced. But I bought some new tint. You can't really see this, but I'm going to put this on the windows. I don't know if you can see the pattern. This is the best I could rig up to keep them from sliding when I travel, because they do roll out. Really good slides, but they do roll out. Big drawers. So these work. I still have to paint them. Make it look a little bit better. That's clever. Okay. So, this is the bed. You can see I have a lot of pillows because this is my knee pillow. I have Gotta a lot help. of chronic pain, fibromyalgia. I never could sleep for years and years and years with my knees together. It hurts. So, I will use this. I made this to be a knee pillow put between my knees. And I still have to have something in front of my chest so it won't crush. I'm going to show you how I maneuver to get in and out of the bed. So I push the blanket back like that. I have to get up on my little step stool. This is the way I get in and out. <laughs> it's crazy. But I thought <laughs> I'll show you. I have to worry about this cabinet. I have to worry about this shelf under here a little bit. But when I get into bed, I just do this. Not too hard. Put my pillow between my knees and pull my blanket over. <laughs> so when I get up, it's not quite as easy. As long as I don't have the third pillow, this is not too bad. So I do have to kind of watch that. No sitting up real quick yeah. or sleepwalking. <laughs> Exactly. Well, <laughs> I haven't had a problem when I'm sleeping. I get up three or four times a night to use the bathroom. <laughs> My When you get old, your bladder doesn't work so well. So back up here, I have cabinet, a uh, shelf, I should say. I have a lot of stuff stored in there. I bought these flowers to, for decor. I'm probably going to paint this and put some flowers and things to make it little, look a little prettier. There's the other banner that Honey and Me made. I have my mixer in here. A lot of food storage. That's all this is, is food storage. Back in that corner, it goes as deep as this yeah, cabinet. Yeah, all the way back through the corner. Exactly. So, okay, so that's that. I built a little nightstand. I keep my flashlight here, and I put my glasses on here so I can find it when I get up <laughs> because I'm blind without them do have the thermometer in here. It's 84 degrees right now inside the truck. So I can keep track. So this is just a little water spray bottle. When I get too hot, I cool down. <laughs> okay, so I only have two pictures on the wall. That's all I have right now. I would like to put it one more in the middle. Okay, let me get down and make this look a little more presentable. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's not always easy, but that's okay. This is the curtain I wanted to give you. Um, so, and you also have the little Ryobi fan, like we yes, have. Yes, I do. I'll I'll show you everybody the fans. Okay, so when I cook, you can see that my blanket comes way too far over. I have storage back there and also on the other end. When I cook, I don't want the grease on, on my bed. And I don't want a fire hazard. So I set this in here. Um, that's not the way I do it I'm usually there. So I don't have to worry about splatter if I want to use that burner over there. I need, need to get something more permanent for, for now. Because I don't want this in my way to get in and out. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, for now. <laughs> Multi-purpose tool. Right. Everything, one thing when you live like this, everything has to have mul multiple purposes. So I do that. So, okay, let's see where we're at. I have the bookshelf I put in. I have my Bibles and a few songbooks here. I have four lights up here. LED lights all run on 12 volt. These are really nice lighting. Um, pretty decent lighting. Um, so, of course, I have another cabinet here. I use this for odds and ends, plastics, and spices, and a few packaged goods. Coffee filters, <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever. On this cabinet, I use it for my dishes. I use paper plates, paper bowls. Simplicity. Okay, here's my counter. You saw the stove, I'm sure. I have two burners. This I have an electric start. It's really nice. It came, I don't have to use the lighter. Sometimes with this burner, I do have to. So I just put double stick tape under these. So they won't move when I'm traveling. I need to put a double stick tape under here and under the coffee pot and under, under my little tray behind my sink. I have a lot of counter space, people. You have more counter space than I I love it. Before, <laughs> I had the stove back in that corner. I had this much room between my bed and the stove. Wow. So I couldn't cook. I couldn't get in there and cook. I hated it. And I just couldn't work it. The bed was here. The kitchen was back there. Anyhow, so now I have a whole, whole counter. You have more landscape than I do. <laughs> I can cook. I can prepare. I can do dishes right here, all right together. I love it. I love it. So I installed uh, this little uh, power cord, uh, power center. So I can plug in the coffee pot, the refrigerator, and whatever else I need. What I didn't say when I showed you the control chargers, I have almost a thousand, thousand watts of solar on the seat, on the roof. So I have plenty of power. So I built this cabinet so I would have stability for the refrigerator. And what I did is I also raised it up so it would would be easier to open and close before the refrigerator door or door opened this way mm -hmm. it was way down here i had to get over here get, be, get behind everything to open the door it was in the way i have to move everything i had half this space mm -hmm. and i just i couldn't maneuver but accidentally i killed it <laughs> when i was doing the build so down here we have a little alpha cool freezer it's nice. It's just slide down. I built a slide out, but I didn't like it. It was unstable. So this is not, it stays everything at minus 21 degrees. It holds a ton of food here. So I have the, like this, a second freezer. Down here next to it, I keep my tripods. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I just keep my tripods in there. Slides really easy on the rug. Mm -hmm. I put a bar here to keep, if it should shift, it won't come out. With the top here, it won't flip forward. Mm -hmm. This is secure. So I like the what I do is just put bungees across here when I travel so the doors don't fly open. Look at this freezer. It's so cute. That's a huge freezer for an RV. Yeah, it is. 
course, I haven't figured out what I could put in this little thing. Maybe frozen vegetables or something. Bacon. Oh, bacon. That's a good idea. <laughs> Can I? So this is the refrigerator. I have storage for soda. Here I can put cheese or butter or applesauce. <laughs> Down in here, I just use a little tray to put things in. And I keep a lot of water bottles in here. Just odds and ends things. I have this shelf and this shelf. And then a nice pull-out drawer. Not huge, but compared to what I had, this is a miracle. Okay. And you can see I can fit a full half gallon of milk in there. Never could do that before. I like the idea of this. The, yeah. mag the magnet. My ex-husband, we get along pretty good, we're good now as friends. <laughs> he bought this for me, ordered it, and sent it to me. This uh, wonderful, very strong mag mag magnet knife holder. I never, but nunch, nothing budges when I travel. I put this metal board here. It's a, actually a cookie sheet to keep the splatter from hitting the wall when I do dishes and stuff. So up here, I just put odds and ends. I double stick this, but it did fall over when I traveled. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to hold up. I have a nice window vent over here. Uh, I have to make sure I close it when I travel. I built this medicine cabinet. It's not ideal, but I have tons of stuff I had to put in there. So I put little key hooks up here, and then I put, I don't have, I'm in five years since I've been on the road, I have had absolutely no knickknacks. So I wanted to be able to have a few knickknacks in my home. So I got my little elephant. This is another elephant with two lions. One sitting up here and one's underneath the elephant. And then my little hot dog cowboy. <laughs> uh, Western hot dog. <laughs> so this is another light LED. Oh, that's a bright one. On 12 volt. It's very bright. So I have plenty of lighting. Mm -hmm. Let's see, down in here, you, I showed you, I, of course, I have all my one-gallon water jugs till I get my water faucet to work. It's not working very good. It won't pump water. I put, uh, like, those window sunshades to keep the sun heat and the really hot heat in the daytime from coming through the windows. I built that shelf to hold my drink cup, and that's a... Uh, little uh arm for my phone when i travel oh, cool. okay and in here i don't know if you can see this uh cat here you probably could i have a shelf on top of this this is on a hinge wait a minute let me stand okay up. come on Ooh, there we go be careful so i unfortunately i have nowhere to put this guitar so i just flop it up there this flips up i have a great big drawer down here and I just put odds and ends down here along the outside. Underneath this, this is my what I call my battery box. <clears throat> I have four batteries. About 520 amps of storage. So everything's connected really well. My friend Zach from Havasu rewired all that to make sure it's all safe and have all the safety uh, stuff. So I don't won't have to worry about power issues. Okay. So when I have trash, I just put it here till I go to dump the trash. And pull the curtain and it hides it. <laughs> exactly. The curtain hides everything. I love it. I have a little basket here with odds and ends. I keep a little trash can up front because you're always throwing things away when you're traveling. You get a snack, you have to throw the containers away. And I just bungeed some cleaners. And uh, bear spray and a few things down in here. This is my little 12-volt fan. Works great. Of course, I could use a bigger one, but I don't have room for a bigger one. She, okay. she even has a ladder in here, which I thought was pretty cool. Yes. Oh, yeah. My This is a telescoping ladder, and it's pretty easy to pull out nowadays. So over here, I do have a fire extinguisher. 
dick careful I'm fine. fire extinguisher so if it were a fire i could grab it real fast it's on a strap i just keep some extra bungees there okay where are we at uh oh you got your toilet box out this time uh okay let me show you uh, this is kind of a long video, sorry guys, but I thought you wanted to see the details. So, of course, yes, when you live in a small space, you always, always moving things around. <laughs> I didn't show you the drawer. First a little pull-out table. It can come, wait, that's as far as you can come out without it flopping down. Got your own desk. Yeah, I'm going to uh, put paint this and then... Put it on some polyurethane, I think, for coating. So that's one desk. And on the kitchen counter, I also have one. So I use this more because it's more the right level. I set my laptop on there. I secured it so it won't flop down. Okay, so let's see. So I probably showed people already the shelves I built under there. Mm. I'm going to switch. I'm going to put the food stuff that's down in these two drawers, put over there, and then put my clothing over here. So this is my composting toilet. On the back of it, I have a compost bin. I decided to connect it to this so it just slides out at the same time. Oh, cool. So I just have furniture slides on the bottom. And see how easy it slides out. Oh, yeah. This composting toilet has a urine separator. It has a bucket with compost in it. You want to keep your solids and liquids separate. Because then if you mix it, you're going to have odors in your home. Believe me. So you keep it separate. I built this little drawer down here. To put all my pots and pans in. You have the sliders on that too? Yes, just the furniture slides. Oh, is that those disc things? Yeah, so I just, when I'm at home, I keep my laptop on top of this three drawer cabinet. When I want to use it, then I pull out this slider. So I have to put a handle on this. Um, so I pull out this slider like this. I set up when I do live streams or do editing, I can set my laptop up there. So that works out really good. Okay, that's that's that. Got your studio. I do have another cutting board here and another cutting board here. So in the drawers, I keep my silverware. I like real silverware. I use paper plates and paper <laughs> bowls, but I do like real silverware. Down here, I keep my towels and different odds and ends, washcloths. Um, and down here, all my uh, storage bags and trash bags and things like that. I love this sink. This deep. Seven inch deep sink with a good strainer. So if you dump stuff like bugs in getting in there, I can dump them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's uh, 13 wide by 15 deep. And then I did put a little towel rack there. I'm going to have to put something else here, probably to extra towel rack. And up here, I'm afraid I have to put some hooks. I didn't want to have this all cluttered, or cluttered like before, but I have to have a place for my beautiful hats. <laughs> and you can see cowboy there. Cowboy. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's that. I think that's pretty much covers it. What do you think? Did we show everything? <laughs> she has a really nice setup in here. It's really cozy. You can see how much room I have in here. I didn't have any room before. I had this little tiny space between the bed and the wall and because the bed came out quite Quite a ways and she can kitchen. actually come out and turn around in the center of the room. I can. <laughs> I did order a better chair. This is causing me back problems. My back. After doing the build, my back is gone. Mm. It's back to where it was about two months after I broke it. But I'm surviving. I'm okay. So I do have, yes, a second fan. This is a Ryobi. I just use the batteries from my power tools on this. Mm -hmm. And it puts out quite a it, battery's not dead right now, 
but it puts out quite a bit of air. So I, if I want to lay in the bed, I'll put it up here on the counter. And like so, you said, when you're spritzing yeah. yourself, it really feels good. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that works really well. Um, I think that's everything, people. I thank you for watching. I just wanted to give you the total update. You can see I have a few knickknacks now. Even I still want to do the trim around the cabinets with, I have some turquoise paint and bought some yellow paint too, so like the colors of my logo. Mm -hmm. So I th thought maybe I'll do something here and around these to do something like that. I never can figure out what I'm going to do with the ugly ceiling. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell if you want to see what I'm coming out with next. I do put videos out usually once a week. I do a live stream every Sunday at 4 o'clock. And I do impromptu live stream sometimes on Thursday nights. Probably this week I will come on between 8 and 9 Pacific time for a impromptu to where I just talk and <laughs> visit with my friends that I come come in the chat. Okay, that is that is it. Thank you, Kat, for doing this video for me. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I need a, you know, when you're alone, it's hard sometimes. You need a friends. Mm -hmm. And I've made a friend with Kat here. And please, people, go check out her channel, Buckeye Kitty. She's a really sweet lady. I've really got to like her. And so check her out. Anyhow, thank Dee's you all for coming. Bye-bye. Dee's a sweetheart. Give her a thumbs up, guys. Bye.